Good morning, YouTube family. It's Andrea here at VW Family Farm. And this is probably one of the hardest videos we've had to make so far since we've had our channel. I don't really want to be making this video. I'd love to put it off or pretend this didn't happen. But I feel like you have a right to know as our YouTube family and as our viewers. But we lost Gracie last night. I don't know a softer way to say that. Um, there's been many tears shed here at VW Family Farm. Last night, and then again this morning. It was a tragic accident that happened so fast that it happened and it was done before we even knew what was going on. It just seemed like any other day uh, we worked a lot. The kids and I had done school. We'd done a million different things. It was the end of the day and, and we thought all our work was done. Emily was inside cooking supper and me, Ben and Lane were coming home. And that's our time to sit down and be together and watch something on YouTube or TV or talk or whatever. So I actually thought about not really telling you what happened because when you open yourself up to something, you open yourself up to a lot of judgment or uh, you should have done this, you should have done that, all those type of comments. And I just ask that you be gentle with us because if you think, when I tell you this story, if you think, well, you could have done this different or that, I promise you we've already thought that. Each one of us in our own way has held ourselves responsible for what happened. Uh, we've all tried to take the blame. There are several different things we could have done differently to maybe have prevented this, maybe not. But I thought about being very vague and not telling you what actually happened. But if you're like me, you're someone who when you hear something's happen, you just feel this need to, you want to know, you want to sympathize with the people and, and just know what brought this about. So I'm going to share with you exactly what happened, although I, I really considered not. But again, I just ask, just be gentle with your comments as we're, we are grieving. So we were going in the house and I told Lane, well for one, Gracie's been here about six weeks and she quickly had stolen our hearts. We love that dog. And, but she would sit out at night. We had gotten her a pen and a house and everything, but she would sleep some during the day and so she could party all night. She'd get on top of her house <laughs> and literally howl at the moon. All night. All night. She kept us up quite a few nights till we were like, okay, this is crazy. She's coming in the garage. So for the last few weeks, she's been sleeping in our garage. And she just cozies down and just sleeps all night. She's quiet as a mouse in the garage. But you put her outside in the dark, she's gonna howl. We even went Black Friday shopping and bought her a new huge pet carrier, way bigger than a dog her size needed, to sleep in and put a bed in it. She tore up. Which she tore up. the first. She started tearing it up the first night and just did a little bit of damage and then the next couple nights she really tore into it so i thought you know what i'll just pull that thing out i can stuff the stuffing back in and fix it and she before we bought the bed she'd been sleeping on the pet carrier just on the plastic part it's warm in our garage she wasn't hurting so i thought you know what? i can fix it she still was just a puppy she's just one so i told lane i said go let her out We've been doing this for a while. When we first got her, she was on a leash 24 seven. But we have been gradually letting her off the leash because she will come to me and Emily anywhere. Like she, she would not leave you. She was like stuck to you to where you were almost like tripping over her. She would not leave you. And she was doing that with, starting to do that with Lane too because he was starting to be the one to come get her at night and take her in the garage and she just went right with him. She never ran from us, ever, not one single time. But mistake number one, I should have been the one to come get her last night or sent Emily. But Lane had done it many times before and it had been fine. Also mistake number two, when she came to run into the garage, I was pulling her torn up bed out of the pet 
the crate. Um, I had no, absolutely no intention of getting onto her for it, but she saw me pulling it out and I guess she thought, oh, oh yeah, I'm probably in trouble for that. And she took off and hid in the yard. It was dark by this time. And so Lane went and found her. But as soon as he started to get close to her, I guess she really thought she was in trouble. I have no idea why he didn't talk ugly to her. He just called her and she took off. And if you know where we live, we live on a busy highway. We're quite a ways off the road. We're not like right up smack next to the road. Our front yard does not meet the road. There's a cow fence and everything in between it. But she took off like she was shot out of a cannon and we were hollering at her um, and mistake number three that I made, I let Lane chase after her and I should have took off as fast as I could, but I didn't want us all to start chasing her and push her into the road. So I was trying to let him try to call her back and we, Ben and I were standing halfway down the driveway. Lane got to the ditch. She never stopped. She took off with Lane sitting there calling her and trying to coax her back. We were talking, uh, at first we were frantic and yelling like, Gracie! But then we tried to calm ourselves down and talk like in a sweet tone so she knew she wasn't in trouble. She didn't come to any of it. It was dark and she ran up into the road and immediately got hit. And Lane was standing in the ditch beside it saw every bit of it. Ben and I were standing in the driveway, saw and heard every bit of it, and we were heartbroken. And um, she was gone immediately. I, I truly believe she didn't suffer, but it just happened that quick and it was over. And then we were left to deal with it. And this may sound really corny to you if you're not an animal owner, animal lover, but um, the kids at our church have been preparing for their Christmas program and one of the songs they've been singing to practice, which when we're in our adult class we can hear them practicing, is that Christmas song by Alabama that's called Angels Among Us. And that's just immediately what went through my head, that she was just here and we just fell in love with her and then in no time she was gone. It was, it was like she was an angel passing through our life. And that's truly how I feel about her. We loved her. Um, we thought we were gonna have a whole lifetime with her. Uh, she was part of our family already. We miss her. We feel terrible. We've learned from it. Uh, we won't have another dog here that we let out unless they're on a leash, unless they've been super duper duper trained and we feel as confident as we can be that they won't do that. But we are gonna bury her here on our farm and give her a special place because she has a special place in our hearts. And we just ask that you remember us in these next few days. I'm sorry this video isn't positive and happy and uplifting, but sometimes farm life is just not. Sometimes life is just not. So we will press on. I've tried to look for um, positive things in this, and I will say this, this did go through my mind. She ran up in the road and was hit immediately. And if she'd ran up in the road a few seconds sooner to where the people had time to hit their brakes, they would have probably still hit her. But they would have maybe gone out of control and hurt themselves, or my precious son was standing in the ditch just feet away. They could have hit him too. So although we're heartbroken, it definitely, definitely could have been worse. There could have been more injuries involved. So that's it. That's all I've got today. I just wanted to let you know what's going on with us. And we will see you later. God bless.
Gracie, heel. Sit. Sit, not lay. Sit. Good girl. Good girl. That's a good girl. Oh, I love you. Yes, I do. I love you so much. I love you so much.